We're back in business with another full-size Star Wars helmet. Let's get into this. All right, welcome to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. It's good to have you. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it. And today we're talking about my main jam here on the channel, and that is full-size Star Wars helmets. And today I have another Hasbro Black Series helmet. It is the Moff Gideon helmet in the style of the Mandalorian helmets that we saw him wearing in season three of The Mandalorian, where he had taken over the planet after they'd vacated and was stealing their Beskar to make his new Mandalorian Super Commando army and his own special armor. Now, I wasn't a a huge fan of season three of The Mandalorian, especially when you compare it to the first two seasons of The Mandalorian. But as usual, regardless of the content, we usually get some pretty good costumes and costume props and troopers and things like that. So I went ahead and picked this up. Also, since it's based on the Mandalorian mold, we're gonna take a look at it in front of some lights, obviously, see what they did, see how they did it, see what kind of quality we've got on this one. But depending on how it looks, we may also compare it to one of my Boba Fett helmets or something like that to see how much reuse there is as well, or to see if this is a completely original mold. And as always, we'll start with the box packaging first. They've gone with the same five-sided box again it's a little oblong as opposed to being square as you can see and on this side there's the partial schematic and partial helmet as usual they have that black series insert looking thing there which is very cool then we get another picture of the helmet itself and then on the back we get the helmet plus some of the ideas over here i'm guessing yeah here it is of what it may or may not do when you put batteries into it and depending on what it does I may or may not put batteries in it and test that out because I've never been a real big fan of the voice changers or the lights on these things because they're just really not that spectacular. But let's get this thing on the review table in front of some lights and take a look at it. Okay, so when you take it out of the box, it comes in one piece like this. And unlike most of the rest of the Black Series helmets, this had actually a plastic insert on top of it to keep these horns, I guess, kind of safe inside, which I think is pretty smart. I've never really seen that on a Black Series helmet before, so that was very cool. Number two, the thing that immediately jumps out at you is, wow, shiny, look at this thing. You can see every light in reflection that I'm using to light this helmet right now. The black is super shiny. Now, I don't have the Darth Vader helmet, but I imagine it's a lot like that. And I can also tell you right now, we won't need to do any comparisons to any of the previous Mandalorian helmets because it's very obvious right off the bat, at least on the front and sides, that there's no reuse here. So we start off with the front. It's got the slightly different chin than most of the Mandalorian helmets we're getting. This is three-dimensional, good hard plastic in here. The lenses have a reddish tint, but they seem to be reflective as well. You can see my hand going in front of them, which is also very cool. I mean, right off the bat, this helmet's very stunning. The black is very reflective and very well done. These are on there very sturdy, his little horns and they don't want to move around. It's a good thick plastic. They don't bend or anything like that. Very, very nice. Coming around, you can see that the red accent in here is more of a flat black, which I think contrasts that shine very, very well. Still good quality, once again, as we come around. And as I've mentioned, these things for the price you pay for them have just gotten really good. Um, this was $99. Now, recently the Helmets have gotten into the $130 range, but I even got an email on one of the ones that I have on back order right now where they said, oops, we charged you too much and we're reducing the price to $99. So I'm a big fan of the uh, fact that Black Series Hasbro is doing that. Now, when you get around here, this is a little, like the side piece here is a little boring. I would have hoped there would be some sort of contrast in there, but then again, it may be supposed to be all black like that, but that's still beautiful. I mean, that's a, a great black, like a lacquer almost, man, that's on there. It looks really good. I think in the video, you can probably even see my reflection is so shiny. Now, the only thing that ever comes out in these helmets that I'm not a huge fan of, but is really inevitable at this price range, is there's always cracks where the pieces go together. I mean, I've showed you the really good ones on like the Stormtrooper helmet and stuff before, but at a, at a price range like this, you, you know, that's really not a, a huge issue and it's smooth on the bottom. So the pieces are put together very well. And this one I can see as I'm going around, I'm also leaving fingerprints on it. It's super shiny, that's really cool. These on there, like I said, nice and sturdy. As we come around, the back is pretty plain. It's almost like a black mirror, look at that. <laughs> it's so shiny. That's just amazing how they did that, I like it. Some, uh, some of the helmets that they've come out with in the past 
were kind of flat, especially the artillery stormtrooper. It was it was like a flat um, type of white, which is kind of disappointing because I think the stormtrooper helmet should be shiny. But I see they've overcome that, especially with this completely shiny black. And on the X or the other side, you see pretty much a carbon copy of what we got on the whoops on the left side of the helmet or the right depending on your point of view and as you come around you see more of those red accents so it's pretty straightforward and to the point but moff gideon's helmet in season three is that it's straightforward and to the point i like how it flares out towards the bottom here like his which is something different than we get from most of the mandalorian helmets so on the exterior very very beautiful now here's what i'm, I'm talking about this vent piece right here is, is gray it's like a it's like a dark dark gray I was hoping like to see like a dark, dark gray, maybe on this vent or maybe these two little buttons, but that's just, you know, wishful thinking and nitpicking at a hundred dollar price point. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. Okay. And as usual, the inside of these helmets are starting to look pretty similar. I mean, it's got the nicer head rig here that you can use and does it have the dial? No, actually it's not the nicer one. It's this one with the hole and bump system that I call it. I can get it in the light for you there, but no more dial. Um, but these go up and down. It's got the little pad at the top for you there and some red padding up there. And then all of the fake electronics and things that you see on so many of these helmets as we get them now, especially the Mandalorian style helmets. So pretty standard in there, but at least it's not super plain. And you can see right through <laughs> the red up there. But there you have it, just a quick overview, review of the new Moff Gideon helmet as seen in season three of The Mandalorian. It's a beautiful helmet on the exterior and it's gonna display nicely. Because of this colored and reflective visor, it looks a little less Star Wars-y than we're used to, especially since most of that series looked a little less Star Wars-y in the season three, but still a great helmet. I can highly recommend this one, especially if you're a fan of any of the medium that this represents. It's a really good looking helmet. And finally, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, maybe consider doing that for me. That's a great way to support my efforts here at Paul's Collectibles. And if you're already a subscriber or somebody who's been watching my videos for a really long time, you already know, I greatly appreciate you. But with that, I'll see you on the next video.